Johnny Pink. This is not the most scenic of areas, but this is Juanita Bay Park in uh, beautiful Washington. It's unbelievably beautiful. My big plans were James was going to meet me and we were going to go to Mount um, the Skagit Valley. However, the massive storm that's coming in and the temps dropping down into, this, into the teens for... Hey, I'm a city guy, man. I, I'm not used to the cold and driving in the snow. When it rains a lot, everybody freaks out at home. Although I have to say, I think people drive worse here than they do at home, or maybe I'm just used to it. <laughs> Oregon was pretty bad, too. People cutting you off doing 70 miles an hour in a blinding rain. It was interesting. But this video is more so that I can talk to you about my strap. My whole plans have changed, so I'm going to go back and, anyway. I was going to shoot this in Klamath, but with all the snow that came into Klamath, I couldn't get there. So I decided I changed up my plans, and now I'm not going to be able to get to where I'm going again. I don't want to get stuck. I'm a city guy. So I'm going to head back home, and I'm just going to enjoy the drive and take it slow. But this is about my strap, once again. This is not a harness, it is a strap. It comes with, when you buy a strap, they all come with different clasps. But this one, if you can see right here, that just screws into the base. You can screw it into the bottom of your camera or you can screw it into your lens, really doesn't matter which. It's now a couple of hours later in the day than it was earlier. And yes, this did st start out just as a strap video. And as you can see, I still have, I have this now on the 600 F4. Uh, 1.4 Tele puts me at 840 millimeters, which is working much, much better in this really low light. The zoom would be better but I need that light. So I've got this screwed into the base of the camera instead of on the foot like I do on the other one. And then again, it's clipped under here. I have a long Arca Swiss base. It has a hole in the back. I may have drilled it or it may have come that way. And I took a key ring, the same little key ring, and my carabiner fits right into that absolutely perfectly. When I have a big setup, something that's bigger than 100 millimeters, or even the 100 to 400 is okay, I try and get that on the base of the lens itself or the foot because that's where all the, the strength comes from. But when I have a bigger lens, especially the, the 600 or any of my other long ones, I want it on both. The big lenses, this one does not, oh, well, this one does, look at that. Comes with a little clasp right around the side right there. So you can attach it to that. I've got it tucked into the base over here. But this, if you look at this right here, this is a key ring. Those things are cheap, they're everywhere, they're super strong. It'll save your camera from hitting the ground. This is just a generic carabiner, which would also slow it down. This is the D-ring that comes on the strap. I like things that simply work. Don't cost me that much money. I have had the expensive straps. You spend 80 bucks on a strap and it breaks. So this is a $16 strap, something like that on Amazon. I'll, link, I'll leave a link down below. It's not an affiliate link. It is just a link. You're welcome to buy it and play with it yourself. But it's not a harness, it is a strap. And it just, as it comes around my shoulder, sits here like this. It's got a zipper up here and I keep a couple of extra cards in it uh, in case I need. I was able to shoot, I've got too much stuff with me. So I'm gonna go drop it off at the hotel and come back. The woman I, was, I just met who also had a camera, she started laughing, she says, yeah, you don't wanna leave anything in the car here. So I can see my car from here, even in, in the screen. She said there is an Eagle that, that's tucked out there, but this is the Canon 200 to 800. I'm going to come back with just my 600 f4 and the 1.4 uh, tally on there. I'll be shooting at 840 millimeters. I'll bring the R7 with me just in case, but uh, it'll be on, on the R5. I was shooting a spotted Tohi. I haven't seen any of these. The light is really, really low, and this lens is not a low light lens. It is a... you need some light. It struggles a little bit with the focus, so at least if I'm shooting a longer lens like the, uh, the F4, oh, it's 36 degrees out here too, by the way, and it's cold. I'm putting my fingers inside my, my gloves. It does struggle a little bit. Even single point is kind of hunting, and I've heard other people talking about that too, not just me. But if I got any of these little birds here, let me show them to you right here.
if I got any of the eagle or anything else around here when I'm able to hike, those photos will be right here. Johnny Pink, once again, man, I, I want to say thank you to you guys for letting me share with you. I don't, this didn't, this adventure didn't turn out the way I wanted. And you know, the only funny thing that, that I'm worried about going back is on the five, the bridges that go up way up over through Portland over the top of the, I, I hate those high bridges. It's an irrational fear. I don't mind climbing a two story ladder, but that's, that's the only thing I'm not looking forward to. Oh, well. It is what it is. Johnny Pink, again, thank you so much. If you thought it was entertaining, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was dumb, then give it the old thumbs down. That's okay, too. Thank you for letting me share with you. You guys have a fantastic day. And I wonder, here in Oregon, if I can fade out like I do at home. Let's give it a shot. We'll see you. Yep, no different than at home. Camera magic. We'll see you.